At the start of the NHL playoffs, DraftKings released the official Conn Smythe odds for playoff MVP. At the top of the list, you had your standard superstars. David Pasternak, Connor McDavid, Nathan McKinnon, Austin Matthews, you get it. But all the way down the list, you had Rupe Hints at plus 4,500. Fast forward to today, Rupe Hints is the leading point scorer remaining in the NHL playoffs by being only one point behind Connor McDavid. Hints has been a monster for the Dallas Stars on this run, and here's how. If you look at the physical attributes of Rupe Hints, he is the perfect build for a hockey player. At 6'3", 215 pounds, he can skate like the wind, he's got incredible hockey sense both offensively and defensively, and he wants to attack the game. If only there was another 6'3", 215 pound player who could do the same, right? Just kidding, Lee fans, I know that was a jab, but for real, at that size, there's very few players in the NHL who can skate like Rupe Hintz. Flat out, Rupe Hintz has got game-breaking speed. We've seen him numerous times in these playoffs just separate from the pack with his stride, but we've also seen him just flat out catch guys by surprise with his deceiving skating style. Rupe Hintz is the shining example of elite talent being used in the most effective way. Because of his unbelievable speed, there's rarely ever a puck that Hintz isn't skating into. What I mean by this is that it's extremely rare you'll see Rupe Hintz get a puck where he's flat-footed. This is a testament to his hockey IQ, but it's also by design from the Dallas Stars. In these very same NHL playoffs, the Dallas Stars have been the best team off the rush. With a total of 18 rush goals in these playoffs, that's five more than second place, and when you understand how the Stars go from defense to offense, it all makes sense. In Game 7 against the Kraken, Dallas's approach negated the buzzsaw forecheck that made Seattle so dangerous. By stretching out Seattle before they can really fully activate their forecheck, Dallas likes to send either one or two wingers at the opposing team's blue line and stretch out the other team's forecheck. While doing this, they would send a center up the middle with speed, and once Dallas hits that stretch pass, all it takes is a quick touch into the middle of the ice so that the center can enter the zone with a massive speed differential against defenders. We've seen Dallas do this a lot in these playoffs. When you have a player like Hintz with game-breaking speed bursting through the middle with possession, he can literally pass it to himself and score. This is how you maximize the skill set of your players, but as we know, Hockey is made of broken and ugly plays, so when things aren't all set for Hintz to get the puck on the breakout, they simply airmail it and let him work his magic with his speed. Hintz's Game 7 goal was a direct example of this. Dallas forwards are all still in their own end, so Heiskanen just airmails it and lets Hintz work his magic. In general, defensemen hate when this flip play happens to them because there's so many things that can go wrong, like a dead puck like we see here, but when you have the speed of Hintz also coming at you, it just makes it a really tough situation for defenders. Dallas also did this on Wyatt Johnson's game-winning goal. With no clean outlet for a pass, Dodonov just simply airmails it with Wyatt Johnson being already at the opposing team's blue line. He gets it with some time and space, and obviously, the finish was just lovely. Dallas's system is designed to let players like hints fly but the mvp conversation comes up when you make plays like this check out this ridiculous set of hands on him to pull this puck into his body and not only avoid the grubauer poke check but to also roof it upstairs all in one motion so many players would just slap this puck towards the goalie in this position but not hints he controls it and makes a play. This whole play speaks volumes of his hockey IQ because of how he also times his speed to get in this position. As he circles the wagon to try and look for a play, he disappears outside the zone to lose coverage and then arrives perfectly on top of the crease at the right moment. It's one thing to have game-breaking speed, but to know how and when to use it is a completely separate skill that special players have. What's great about Hintz too is that he's not only a one-dimensional superstar. His speed is lethal on the penalty kill as he gets a ton of penalty kill breakaway chances, some of which he's converted on, but he's also extremely effective at using his speed to create good back pressure for Dallas in their own end. You combine all this talent in a system designed to maximize it, you get an underrated superstar who can very well be the future 2023 Conn Smythe winner. So, what do you think about the Stars and Rupe Hints? Do you think he wins playoff MVP if Dallas goes on to win the Cup? As it stands right now, he's still not the betting favorite to win the Conn Smythe, but only time will tell. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and before we end the video, I want to thank our sponsor, Hockey Training. If you're a hockey player who wants to improve your game, the Hockey Training app and YouTube channel is the best place to be. Armed with drills inspired by some of the greatest NHL players in the world, it is the number one spot to take your game to the next level, both on 
and off the ice. If you're interested, I'll leave the links in the bio down below. If you want to see more NHL playoff breakdowns just like this one, make sure you click that subscribe button.